All right, thanks for that, Kyle. Well, with the end of the public health emergency that was declared during the pandemic, there are some potential changes to some Medicaid recipients. What those changes are and who is impacted is the big question. Joining us this morning with answers from Gunderson Health System is Dr. Mary Lou Bintz. Good morning, Dr. Bintz. Good morning. Pleasure to be with you. Thanks for joining us. So what is happening with Medicaid since the end of the public health emergency? With the end of the COVID-19 public health emergency, state Medicaid agencies are reviewing patients' individual eligibility for Medicaid. And so some patients are in danger of losing their coverage. Yeah, and that public health emergency brought more people under that Medicaid umbrella. How do a current Medicaid recipients learn if they will continue under Medicaid or not? The most important thing, the most critical thing is that Medicaid patients need to make sure that their state Medicaid agency has their correct contact information, things like phone number, address, email address, because every state Medicaid agency, whether it's Wisconsin or Iowa, Minnesota, they will be reaching out to patients to um, try and determine their eligibility for Medicaid. And when they do that, they may also be sending patients what's called a renewal form. And that renewal form must be filled out and returned very promptly. So first make sure the state Medicaid agency has your correct uh, contact information, and then also watch your mail very, very carefully. And where can you get more information or expect to get more information from um, to direct uh, folks in the right direction? Well, if patients have found that they have a gap in their coverage, they should go to healthcare.gov. And healthcare.gov has all kinds of information where patients can find an affordable, comprehensive plan that best meets their needs. Well, Dr. Bentz, thank you so much for your time this morning. And we do have all those resources over on our website, wxow.com. Thank you.